going, Dad? We're going on a trip, man. We're gonna go look at some. A rocket trip. Hey, YouTube. It's Jess, and I'm back. So we had our meeting um, yesterday, which was Monday, regarding tiny house, um, where it's gonna go, if we're gonna do this, if we're gonna do that, um, and I don't have a bunch of answers for for sure anything thing like everything is possibilities and ideas at this point so um, I've got some clips that I'm going to insert um, into this video of us looking at the um, different spots that are up for consideration pretty sure we've at least decided on the spot so I guess that is one thing that we've decided yeah and we'll drive up here see I've got power And water. This would be a nice little hilltop to build a small house. The power could be run from. We need to go, go up here and turn around. We need to go where we can build a little house. Um, there's a really pretty view. We will have to run electricity and plumbing, but it's not too too far away, so that is a plus. Oh, cool, you already got the water and electricity. Well, the water is run about halfway. I'd have to run from the meter down the road up and connect in okay. but from about my about where the front of the house is i can show you later if the water line's been ran for that my father has a little over 50 acres um to deal with but a lot of it is like deeply wooded um and it would take a little a little doing to get electricity and um plumbing for like water and stuff let's say this was the spot right you you would have to look and get a perk test done to see if they would put a, uh, a septic and what kind of test a, a perk what they call a perk test to make sure septic tank remember system would work work. Hmm. Remember when you work i do remember that yeah. yeah one of the things we thought about doing and i don't know if it would work with all of us using a composting toilet Dad, I need to look in it. I don't know what. I went to Debbie's World. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> so I have a list in my handy dandy um, notepad that I love because it is a to do list notepad. It literally has little boxes you can check off, and I'm obsessed with checking off small tiny squares that say I have accomplished something. So that's just how I roll. Um, so I'm going to share the list with you and the things that we did talk about. Um, location. There was a place that was kind of, I don't even want to say it was close to where my parents' house is because it's really not, it's kind of like set back. But um, there's a place that's closer to their house. And there's a location that's further away. The property goes to the wooden fence there. And then it runs up to the hill. And then it goes all the way back. And then it comes back pretty far back in the woods here. This is a cool spot. It um, has a little bit more... It's open a little bit more. It's not as wooded, and so there would be a better option for solar power because, I mean, yes, we want to be in a place where we can run electricity and water, um, but we want to have the option of using solar, all solar, or mostly solar. This is my favorite one. Yeah, this is, yeah, this I really is like this pretty spot. This is your favorite one? Yeah, yeah out of the yeah, open. I, I'm not against going out in the woods, though, either. If yeah, we could find cool a spot that wouldn't be like it'd be a little harder to do solar. Well, like I said, yeah. the thing you gotta, yeah, the solar. But if you cleared a little spot, you'd tough. have, you'd have to run uh, so many hours a day. Cables from there, I like it, the view way off in the distance. It would be cool if we could have a house in the woods. And then um, also have the option for collecting rainwater and filtering it and doing that as well. And we do want to have a compostable toilet. So, um, I literally just talked about like the first three things that were on my list, so I don't even have to mention them. So we've got location, plumbing, electricity. Uh, of course, we will have to price that. Um, and then I talked to you about the septic and the composting toilet situation. Um, my dad had mentioned looking into septic, and 
And I'm not really, I'm really not concerned. I want to have a garden anyway, so composting would work fine for us. Um, we also need to figure out what is the best direction to have your solar panels facing because I literally don't even know that. When I get done making this video, my job is to look at solar prices for solar um, panels and to learn a little bit more about uh, locations where to put them, how to place them. My dad said something about, uh, well, I hear you have to place them towards the south or they have to be pointing to the south and I don't know, that doesn't make sense to me. That doesn't mean it's not accurate, but I just need to learn a little bit more about it. So that's what I'm doing when I get done making this video. Um, we talked about pouring a concrete pad that way that the um, tiny home would be level. So that's something that we need to look into for all, and I'm going to say all three of the tiny houses. There's not really three tiny houses. Now what we want to do, and at some point, and maybe even in this video when you see some of the clips, um, you'll be able to see what it looks like. Like that would be a little deck eventually, but that would be probably the beginning of what it would look like. Yeah, well, what would what could be cool? There's the plot again. Huge, and if you look at that, that's pretty much like if you were looking straight up, you know, like the floor plan. There's going to be a tiny house for Luke and I, and there's going to be two permanent structures. It's going to be a small, kind of like a... I don't know it's gonna have windows it's gonna be almost like a sunroom I don't want to call it that but kind of like a general gathering area it's not gonna be huge but it's gonna be a place where we can have music instruments and things like that and it will be kind of between our tiny house and then the kids um, area so yeah we'll need concrete pads for both of those and we um, have yet to decide exactly what building materials that we're going to use for that. The steel though is like, I think it's 30% lighter than wood, so you got less. You can put more in the house with a steel frame than you can with a wood frame. So it's not like a very nice hole, basically. Um, we're currently pricing out like a Morton building style, maybe for those two. And maybe for all three, really. If we could do that on top of a um, trailer too, that would be cool. Okay, another thing on the list. And in the video, video, you will see that there is a pole barn kind of in that general location that a man that had owned the land behind my dad's land prior to my dad acquiring that land had put a pole barn type of a Morton building there and then my dad had expanded on it. Uh, I added this to the back because that's where I was going to ultimately put my, put my, uh, what is called this one? That's nice though. Where I was gonna put the, uh, the tractor or whatever. We have stuff in that pole barn, Luke. I'm storing you got, you some got stuff. A few things yeah. in, in the first one. Well, mm -hmm. But it's pretty good size, and we were wondering if we can build part of it in there, out of the elements, and then move it out um, to where it actually will be placed. So that's something that we are looking at and discussing. And even if we can't move the whole thing out, because I think my dad said that the doors are um, only 10 feet high and ours will be bigger than that. So I'm thinking we may not be able to build the whole thing in there, but like cabinetry, um, things like that, we should be able to build in there and then move into the building, depending on what's going on. If we have someone connecting some of the electrical, which my dad can do some of that, some of that, but um, like going over it final at the end to make sure it's all connected correctly and stuff like that. We wanna make sure that everything is up to code now we have heard and researched something called quality edge steel siding. That's something that we want to learn a little bit more about is on the list. Um, we want to price a washer and dryer combo and find out, do they actually work? I see a lot of tiny houses that have a washer dryer combo. I said something about that to my sister and she's like, well, I've heard a lot of people say that those don't work very well and they complain about them and whatever. Is it because those are at a certain price point? I don't really know, I've never looked at one before, but a washer-dryer combo would take up a lot less space. Um, so that's something that's on my list to do. I am going to also price some shipping containers because it may be that the price of a shipping container is less than actually building from the ground up for the kids area, um, the kid house. So that's something we're looking into as well. What else, what else? Okay. 
There's a company called Tiny House Chattanooga, which um, you might have heard about before if this is something you've researched at all. And they are fairly close to us. I say fairly close. Um, they are a state away. So they take your design. You can order, okay, you can order a design that they have already listed on their website that they already can make or have made, or you can send them a custom design. And what they do is they build the frames out of steel um, and then they get the actual trailer bed finished and they send it all to you like a package kit and then you put it together yourself. And, uh, that looks fun. That looks cool. You put it all together. Yeah. And some of the prices on some of those that we looked at that would work for us were in the $13,000 range. Um, so that's something we're looking into. Um, Luke has drawn a rough floor plan but he's going to do one another one tonight and then we're going to be using that to actually price out doing it as a Morton style building just to see because we think that um, we would be looking at $30 per square foot on something like that and if the price is that much cheaper than doing it in another way even though it's not one of our original plans I mean money talks so we'll just see but we're looking into that as well, and we need to price insurance on the building, buildings, and then also I'm going to look into permits and zoning regulations for our county and city, and um, I guess that's all that I have on my list for now. There will be more, but I just wanted to let you guys know that the meeting did go really well. Um, my father took us out in his truck, and... We just kind of cruised around in that area and it was really, really cold. So we weren't outside of the truck a lot. We kind of sat in there and, and discussed a lot. But um, we did get out and kind of walk around and just look at the area that we thought would be um, best for us. And um, then we had a pizza party and a lot of the video clips that you were gonna see wherever I do choose to insert them um, after the fact, you will hear the kids just me in the background, so hopefully it's not too hard to focus on what we are saying. Right. Even if, if you even have a deck back here where you can kind of go out. I, yeah. saw, I saw one on that tiny house deal. Mom, sit down! Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. Dr. Kazan is in. Most of the video, I guess, is just Luke and my dad because I was uh, manning the camera, but uh, that's where we're at at this point in time, and once I get some more information, I will share with you my findings, at least um, for what we are looking at in our area of the uh, world. But if you have any questions about any of the stuff that we considered or looked into or any of the things that I've already mentioned, please leave me a comment down below. If you're going on a house journey, a tiny house journey as well, please let me know that so I can also follow your channel and keep up with you. And um, I think it's just good to have somebody to bounce ideas off of and it would be nice to know who else is kind of starting this process as well so thanks for checking in on us and um yeah i guess if anything else new crops up in the next couple of days i will hit you guys up and let you know but thanks for hanging with me today thanks for checking in and you guys have a great rest of the day bye wait what'd you say we can get a we can get you think that would be a good spot? Yeah. To build a house? Yeah. Yeah. Go check it out. See what you think. Uh, there's a little bit of snow. Yeah, there's a little bit of snow in there. Some ice.